Chair, I have several things I want to report on tonight. One, I hope you all had a chance to read the story in uh, Saturday's Dallas Times, I believe, about our police department and the uh, evidence collection and management system that's now online and the benefit that is to the uh, to the staff as well as, of course, to uh, maintaining the uh, necessary uh, protection of evidence and so on and so forth. But a very good story about making things more efficient, paperless, and just improving processes. And uh, that's particularly important as it relates to evidence. And I have a few more things. I'm actually going to call Chief uh, Childress up to ask him to report on another matter to you. I wanted to update on several engineering projects that you would ask about recently. Um, first, sidewalks. Um, the Woodlawn sidewalk is 98% complete, only waiting on Georgia Power Pole to be relocated and then one section of sidewalk to be installed when it's, when it's relocated. East Wind sidewalk is 80% complete, expected completion date 9-11. The Madison Highway sidewalk will begin on 9-11. Uh, the North Lee Street sidewalk will begin surveying and construction staking on 9-6, installing storm pipe on 9-11. And the sidewalk will be installed the week of 923. The finish date is dependent upon Georgia Power Utility Pole relocation. The Bolton sidewalk project will be installed the week of 923. And finally, the River Street, Councilman Vickers had asked about that one uh, on Tuesday night. And that project has also previously been approved in a bid, a bid that will begin surveying and construction staking the week of 916, installing storm pipe the week of 923, curb and gutter the week of 107, and the sidewalk to be installed the week of 1014. We deliberately put that one last only because of the Hill Avenue overpass project, because so many vehicles are using river. It's an alternate, it, it runs parallel to that, and we were just trying to manage traffic in the best way we can, so that's why that particular sidewalk was, was in the last one uh, to be done. Um, next uh, update is on uh, Hill Street overpass. You would ask about that one. The uh, project is 22% ahead of schedule. Um, the actual contractual completion date is December 31 of next year. So certainly they're gonna finish uh, prior to that. We don't have their complete date yet. But I can tell you that the wall on the west end is approximately 80% complete. The wall on the east end is about 60% complete. And the wall itself is about 70% complete. So overall, the bridge is 15% complete, but oftentimes the lower level work, the infrastructure work, the below ground, at ground work is the most time consuming. And when things come out of the ground, they tend to go faster. But I rode through there today, and it's pretty impressive to see the project and the progress that's been made, so if you haven't had an opportunity to do so. The Gorntrow Road, uh, Woodrow Wilson extension project is 65% complete. They're waiting now on Mediacom to relocate some utilities that are along Patterson. Uh, once those are done, uh, they will demo the existing signal and uh, span the new poles in preparation for the new storm drain box and pipe. So we've got to put a new pipe once those lines, new storm drainage system once the, those lines are relocated. And they're waiting on final approval from Georgia Department of Transportation to allow free movement through Patterson while the existing signal is being demolished because the new signal won't be activated until that's done. So this is coming along fine, making a lot of progress. William Street sidewalk project is 5% complete, so they're just really getting started. They're working on curbs right now. Um, uh, more curb work will start this coming Monday. So right now they're working on the section north of Drexel, starting at one mile branch, basically running up to College Street. So they're going to be doing it in sections to just minimize disruption in a, in a neighborhood. And then they'll follow that with a section from College to Alden, and then the, the section of Alden to Park. Um, the section of south of Drexel, south of One Mile Branch, we're holding off working around football season to minimize conflict with that. So just you know, trying to do the best we can work around that. So that's uh, engineering updates. Um, I know the mayor, Councilman Biggers, and perhaps others went to the ribbon cutting today on York Street, and uh, that was a, a, a very good project. And then it's a Habitat City CDBG CHIP Federal Home Loan Bank uh, project. And uh, I wanted just to share with you uh, uh, the before and after pictures so you can see the, the dramatic uh, change uh, that we can make with these programs that we have and, and the improvements we can make in neighborhoods. Um, 
also wanted to, uh, let, and we'll be having another ribbon cutting on a similar project on East Cumming Street uh, next month. Um, also, I uh, went out today and looked at the temporary improvements that are underway at the Withlacoochee Wastewater Treatment Plant. We have seven projects underway, uh, about $2.5 million being spent, and, and, and one of them is now at about 100%, one's at about 75%, and the others are underway, so there's a lot of activity there. And with a little uh, help from Mother Nature and the weather, uh, we can get those things done in the next couple of months. And that should that will actually give the plant an additional two million gallons of capacity and uh, help ensure that we can maintain uh, permit compliance. And that's really the issue we're having at the plant, not raw sewage bills, but just compliance with the permit. So uh, that is uh, full speed underway. And. Um, Final thing I have, and I'll say this, we will need to have an executive session tonight on real estate litigation and a personnel issue I just want to inform you of. But I'm asked Chief Childress to come up tonight because I just want to share it with him and let him share with you some of the, the good work of our police department solving another uh, murder case and, and, and make the connection there you know, between the quality people we have and training and, and the spolosity that's funding of a crime lab. So Chief, I'm going to 